We done skipped a few chapters. We got to go back. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Or welcome to my channel if you're new here. As y'all can tell from the title, oh, don't mind this. <laughs> I get them done tomorrow. Anyway. <laughs> As you guys can tell from the title, we are filming a life update. Uh, and I'm filming this on my vlog camera because I broke my sit down camera, y'all. I dropped her for the final time. And so this is what we're working with. I hope y'all don't mind. Okay, moving forward. I like wrote out a whole like list and like the topics I want to talk about, like in order so I can stay on track. But honestly, y'all forget it. I'm just going to speak from the heart because <sighs> that's just how I'm feeling. Okay, that's just how I'm feeling. I didn't think I was gonna need to do one of these for a little bit of time, but then I was trying to edit my vlogs to upload and I was like, we done skipped a few chapters. We gotta go back. The, the life update gotta happen. Um, I'm like, I don't know why I'm so nervous and we're gonna talk about that because this is such an issue, but I'm working on it. I am working on it. I am, go I am trying to be um, more open with you guys just in general about like my feelings my headspace where I'm at just in life and things without feeling as if I am compromising myself that has been a major feeling lately um, online uh, and I think that any creator who has been or anyone not even just a creator anybody who's been online for an extended period of time I feel like has gone through that phase of not not even not wanting to share but like being fearful like at the end of the day like yes we are friends and i am excited to like talk to y'all about my day what's going on with me and share and not only just for the sake of sharing but for learning lessons experiences etc but at some point you also have to like protect yourself um and not overexpose yourself online and that's something that I feel like I've been preaching a lot on YouTube and just preaching in general lately is that you do not have to overexpose yourself for content you do not have to make content out of things that are personal and important to you and so with that being said I'm going to share as much as I can and feel comfortable to and I hope that everyone can understand um, think of yourself in this situation like yeah anyways let's let's move along so the big elephant in the room let's just address it moving am i moving what's going on i'm moving peace out a town down we're out of here okay atlanta has been a wonderful chapter but we are getting the fuck out of here <laughs> y'all know i have been talking alluding saying i want to move to new york probably for like what a year and a half two years now i don't know why i was so scared actually i do know why and we're gonna talk about that it's actually very important that we talk about that i have just been saying that for so long like oh i'm gonna move to new york i want to move to new york oh new york, new york. i'm feeling new york y'all know i just every time i visit new york i'm like mm. it just like does it for me i like get that spark i really enjoy being there and so um i went to new york in january for two weeks to just kind of like see if i could handle the worst of new york so i was like if I can go to New York for two weeks and survive and be okay and feel a little happy, I can live there. And so that's what I did. And then I was like, cool, I think I should do this now. There are a lot of factors aiding into the move, but I'm gonna be speaking on the main ones to you guys. Yeah, we're gonna be moving. We're moving to New York. I also will be spending extended period of times out of the country. So like, not by coastal, but like, by country girl i don't even know what you would call that i'm just looking at shit and i'm like i mean i'm just looking at life god i'm trying to stop cursing so much y'all know i'll be saying that and then i just be f mom s word everything just be coming out i am young i think y'all be calling me old but whatever i turned 29 this year i have no kids my parents are relatively healthy like if I'm gonna do anything drastic like a major move away from everybody or just living out of the country or whatever like this is the time I got to do it like this is the time where you get your experiences in this is this is my opportunity to do what I want to do like quite literally doing what I want to do because somewhere along the lines I stopped doing that and we're we're gonna rewind back to that point if you guys notice I travel all the time like I was traveling all the time to different places going to the same places multiple times like I'm like you know 
you really don't have to be tied to a place or like stay in a place that like isn't fulfilling you. Atlanta just wasn't fulfilling me anymore. And let me not even say Atlanta wasn't. I think that I got everything I needed from Atlanta. Like I, I soaked Atlanta up, okay? I've been here for what, five, six years? Four, five, six years? I don't know. I moved here when I was 23. It'll be six years in November. No. Yeah, girl. Lived here a very, very long time. Um, I bought my first home here. Like, crazy, crazy things. I mean, Atlanta had its goods, its bads, its ups and its downs. But overall, the outcome, I think, was beautiful. New York, not only obviously for work and business, New York is a much more suitable location than Atlanta, just given like brands, networking, connections, like that kind of a thing. And also New York just has so much more to do. Like New York is just a huge place. There's tons to do. There's a lot to do in Atlanta. Don't get me wrong. But I think that I have, I think I've stayed my stay. I think Atlanta has given me its kiss and it's time to go. Uh, so there's that point. Second point in this is remember how I said, I kept saying I wanted to move to New York. I kept saying it like, oh, New York, New York, New York. Old Aaliyah. If you've been here for a while, then you know old Aaliyah would have been to New York the, the immediate, the, the moment the thought hit my brain, the bags would have been packed. I don't know when I became this like shell of myself. Actually, I do know when, but over the course of the last few years, I have like really like retreated in on myself and I had to like really sit back and assess like what's going on with you? What do you have going on? And I realized like I really lost my confidence in myself. And I know like when people talk about confidence, most people think physical, like your appearance, that I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about like deep rooted, like confidence in oneself, like trusting my choices, my decision-making, believing in myself, doing what I want because whatever consequence comes from that, I'll have to deal with it. It's my choice and I wanna do that. That's how old Aaliyah was. Old Aaliyah picked her butt up and moved from Tallahassee, Florida to Houston, Texas, a whole state she's never even been to with $400, knowing nobody but one singular person and no job. You wasn't scared then, but you're scared now. That makes no sense. What happened to you? Um, and I realized that like over the last couple of years, through not only my growth online, like on this platform, um, okay, let me stick, I'm trying to be able to like, paint this picture for y'all so i'll start there i truly believe that my growth on my platform made me question everything i did because all day long you have hundreds of thousands of people commenting about just their opinion about what you're doing and like before my platform was a lot smaller and i also was just a lot more like strong-willed i guess and i just was like oh, I wish I'm, I'm doing this this is what i'm doing like and obviously I think because of the amount of people too, you get what I'm saying? Like it was a much smaller amount. So then I think that that definitely aided. Bad dog, hold on. So what I was saying was, I definitely think that my growth on the internet, on this platform, like was, was taking little notches of me and I didn't even like really realize it until I really sat back when I was thinking about this move. That is when I realized, I'm like, you ain't never been scared, especially not of a move. Like I went to college on my own. Uh, I moved to Houston on my own. Even coming to Atlanta, I didn't have no family here. It wasn't like a place I was familiar with. Like I've, you've always done this. When did, what's going on? What's going on? Like, why are you so, distrusting of yourself. Oh, I don't wanna cry. So yeah, so somewhere along the line, I think that my growth on the platform had something to do with that. I also think that at points in my life, I involve myself with people that I maybe not, I maybe shouldn't have. And I allowed other people to essentially make decisions for me. And that's not an excuse because when you're complicit and you go along with it, that's your fault too. So I had to sit back and I'm like, why you why did you let that happen why why did you allow people to make what you think and what you want to do and your thoughts small not matter as much as what they wanted that don't make no sense that don't make no sense and i just like really had to like evaluate all of this and i was like damn like these years was ticking away at you girl that's crazy yeah i was like yep this is what i'm doing this is perfect and like i said there's other factors aiding into this that i'm not going to get into detail on YouTube, that's just my personal choice. 
Um, but I'm just gonna be transparent about the fact that this isn't the only reason because people like to make it seem like if you don't tell the whole story, then you're trying to paint a specific narrative. So I ain't even going to sit up here and do that. I'm telling you, there's other things going on, but I'm not going to talk about it on YouTube because I should be able to have something for myself. But I also don't want to come across like a fake ass bitch making it seem like I'm rediscovering myself. So I'm moving to New York like that ain't that ain't all that it is. So I, we are moving to New York and I'm really excited about it. Like I've literally been packing up my house. You probably can't tell, but I've been working on getting everything together. It's been a very flustered like last couple of months for me. And that's also why my mood has not been the best. Like when you're trying to figure out what's going on with you, when you know something's not right, you're doing some like internal digging it's difficult like it's not a smooth happy ride it is very like intense the last couple of months your girl for the all of 2024 your girl has just been and i came to the decision came to the decision that i'm gonna do what i want when i want and i don't care what anybody got to say about it i'm just gonna be do, doing what i want to do for real for real and without explanation i feel like everybody come on here like myself included trying to give disclaimers and explaining ourselves i'm tired of it i'm tired of the disclaimers if you don't get it you don't get it i'm gonna let you do make your assumptions and do what you got to do from now on i'm not I, I, anyways yep that's the first topic we are moving and i think it's gonna be a really fun and interesting journey for us and for me i am still scared i'd be lying if i told you i wasn't scared i am scared but it's gonna be fine like I'm gonna be fine I've always been fine I have always been someone oh here I go about to cry again I don't want to cry on this camera and I wanted to do this video like while I was doing my makeup but I was like we need to focus because y'all know I'll be getting sidetracked and I really wanted this video to be very direct concise to the point I don't want to waste y'all time uh, you guys I will take you along that journey the next vlog that you guys are actually gonna see we are apartment hunting so Trust me, there is a lot in store. It might not be the best. I apologize if the videos are not up to your liking. But again, I find myself being very uncomfortable. <laughs> I find myself in such a weird place because I've never felt this way on YouTube, like ever. But I'm so uncomfortable, like on YouTube. Like, I don't know what that's about. It'll get better. It'll get better with time, I'm sure. I just probably got to get back into like the groove of things but yeah i've been feeling so like ah, just so uncomfortable probably because we've been disconnected i haven't been consistent on my platform i haven't been really letting y'all in on nothing talking to y'all so it makes sense why i'm uncomfortable like and it makes sense for y'all to be feeling the same way so i'm really excited to be taking y'all along living in new york and abroad and around and yeah as far as Atlanta is concerned, I have met some amazing, beautiful people here. Atlanta has been so good to me. Like I said, I bought my first home here. Like I really turned into a woman here. Like it's crazy. So that was step one of business. Like I said, I will be taking you guys along the journey. The journey, that's so dramatic. Girl, we just move into another state. It is not that serious, but I will be taking y'all along with me. What is next? Oh, YouTube, am I quitting? Am I no longer vlogging? Big question for everybody because your girl has been so inconsistent these last couple of months. Like, where have you been? What's going on? Where, where are you at? Yeah, no, we're not quitting. Not yet, girl, not yet. The vlogs will be resuming right after this video. Um, the reason, I, I mean, the reason I've been gone is because I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I told you the uncomfortableness on YouTube and I've been out about living, experiencing, and filming that just wasn't exactly conducive in my opinion for me speaking for myself back to the not wanting to share certain things that as well and this is me being very transparent like private but transparent at the same time like so please understand that the things that i am not showing are for my own good and it's not about this is another thing that's a really big misconception is that not sharing it means that it's something you have to hide because it might not be something good. And that's just not the case, guys. Nine times out of 10, if someone's not showing something, it's because it's so good. It's so good that, you know what? We're gonna keep this wrapped up, bundled up, and safe. 
<laughs> safe in a way. So that's just what's going on. There's just certain things that I just don't want to share right now. But the channel is still gonna be the channel. Same old YouTube. It ain't nothing different. Let me just put it like to y'all like this. It ain't nothing different. We still gonna be vlogging, waking up, going to work out, trying child exercising you know making the breakfasts talking to y'all giving my little two cents of little lessons i learn along the way every now and then and yeah the vlogs are still gonna be the vlogs it's still gonna be me and you and yeah i think i just have to get my comfortability back my comfort back on camera and remember that not everybody is against you <laughs> it is very hard being like online and perceived and Everything you say gets taken out of context or people, it, it's its difficult. I'm not going to hold you. I've been doing this for a long time and any content creator you ask is going to tell you the same thing. This shit is hard. And let me tell you how I know y'all know it's hard. Y'all will make a tweet and one person will disagree with you or say something or misunderstand what you're saying. And I mean, y'all going to war, crashing out all night long over this one person. Imagine hundreds of people, thousands of comments. No shade. <laughs> would never make it so just like imagine that like imagine that so um it definitely can make you uncomfortable in periods and that's just kind of where i've been at but anyway scrap all that we back we back to normal um i'm not gonna sit here and promise y'all consistency and by consistency i'm not gonna be gone for a month i'm not saying that i'm just saying you know my normal schedule where i was like two videos a week whatever whatever where we're, let me get to one a week and and we'll We'll crank it out from there. So I'm not gonna lie to y'all. This is another transparent moment. When it comes to YouTube, I really like my long form videos, like vlogs and a little bit of these little chit chats every now and then. But outside of that, I don't really know how much I got to share. I think I wanna do some routines. I love the routines. So we'll definitely be doing some shower routines, morning routines, night routines, those kinds of things. Um, but when it comes to like content videos, like. I have thought about shifting into a more like um, topic chit chat vibe, but I would like for them to be very thought out, thorough and really concise. And only when I really got something to say, I'm tired of just talking to talk like we're doing right now. I really should shut up. We talking about me, so I let that slide, but I'm not just gonna be talking about stuff just to talk about stuff. I don't know. The older I get, the less I got to say. That could also come from, like I said, being perceived all the, all the damn time on the internet and things being taken wrong. And I was like, you know what? I'm just shut the fuck up. But no, if YouTube is, I'm not going anywhere, y'all. Took a little, little minor setback for a major comeback. Trust me, the content is coming and it's gonna be fire, fire. Well, yeah, it, it, I expect it to be enjoyable. I, I enjoy making it and I think that that's, Something that matters. Oh, we gotta backtrack, y'all. Not only are we moving to New York, remember I told y'all we really doing New York? I mean, like, we're really doing New York. We're downsizing. Keep in mind, I'm going from a three bedroom, 25, however many square foot my house is. Baby, we're going one bedroom. I said, oh, make me a New York girly for real. Like, I actually haven't lived in a one bedroom ever apartment which sounds nuts yeah this is gonna be really interesting like downsizing it granted like i told y'all we'll be between places like i'm gonna be moving around a lot so i feel like it really shouldn't phase me too much and to be quite frank with you i got so much junk i need to get rid of i don't need half this stuff anyways so i'm really excited for that i don't want to just talk to talk and i don't want to keep rambling for a reason in this life update there's really not anything else to update on. I'm trying to think if there's any other update. Oh, my car, through this little moving thing, Big Pearl is, we're giving her up. I've had it almost two years, and that was so fun, so fun, fucking and fresh, girl. I'ma miss her, but I told y'all, New York girly for real. I'm not driving, nope, nope. And we definitely not driving Big Pearl. She, 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 mm -mm. So, like, the life is just changing, like, very, I don't want to say drastically because I'm still going to be doing the same stuff I'm already doing, but just in a different way, just like tweaked. So this is going to be like really fun. Those are the life updates. I just felt like, again, and for anyone who's around my age or any women close to my age or maybe even younger, do what you want to do. Like, don't let fear hold you back from doing something that just sounds so outrageous. Me saying like, oh, I'm going to move to New York and do extended stays in other countries like Dubai, for example. I don't know why that sounds so crazy and just like what but it's really not like 
what else <laughs> live experience like truly and so that's what i'm doing and it might not work out i might fail i don't know but we're gonna see and i'm willing to take the risk and see i'm not gonna let fear keep me from seeing i want to see that's my life update y'all i don't want to just sit here and keep rambling around and talking you know in circles because y'all know what i will do that that's it thank you so much for tuning in thank you for sticking around with me through my ups downs hard times inconsistencies and if you didn't stick around through the inconsistency or if it's just too much for you i totally understand it is what it is that is a consequence that as a content creator i had to accept when i was disappearing and i'm okay with it again making choices and being okay with the outcome working on getting my confidence back and trusting myself even if i make bad decisions which i do sometimes because <laughs> so anyways y'all that's it thank you so much for watching don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next vlog